arguably the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh history, is about to get banned. Max C is getting banned. Well, obviously it's already banned in the TCG, you know that. But if you played Master Duel recently, you probably already know that Max C is the card the format and the game revolves around. Same thing goes for the OCG, the Japanese card game. Max T is at three copies, fully legal. And this is probably the main difference between the OCG, Master Rule, and the TCG. We currently have three very different formats with Master Rule and OCG being rather closer together. But we've seen an interesting shift in the last few months that makes me and a lot of other players think that Maxi is actually getting banned in the Master Duel and the OCG. And the reason for that are the Mulcharmy cards. So far we've only gotten two of them, but people speculate and I agree that there will be more and that their goal is to replace Maxi, arguably one of the strongest cards ever created, and break its effect down into multiple different cards, so you have to choose which ones you want to play. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel, share this video with a friend, like the video, help me stay competitive against the the big pros out there on YouTube. A quick reminder that my new branded sleeves are coming exclusively to Sleeve Chief on Sunday, September 22nd. These new and exclusive branded theme sleeves feature a brand new look of Blazing Cartesia and a Luber. So September 22nd at 8 p.m. CET or 2 p.m. Eastern only on sleevechief.de. And hey, we get an extra 5% off using code GALZO5. And with that in mind, let's start off this discussion on whether Maxi is actually getting banned. So Maxi has been legal in the TCG, <laughs> like it or not, it has come out. It was a three, it wasn't seeing a ton of play back in the day, but eventually it was semi-limited, limited, and eventually forbidden. And yeah, people realize that when you have a card like Maxi, the entire game revolves around it. There is the Maxi minigame in Master Duel right now where everybody's playing Maxi, because of that, everybody's playing Ash Blossom. Because of that, everybody's playing two copies of Called By and the one copy of Crossout Designator. And you already have nine cards out of your 40 card deck dedicated to combating Max C. And because the OCG and both Master Duel are best of ones, it is much more impactful when it resolves or when you manage to negate it. It will literally turn a game on its head and this is why different decks see success in the OCG while others just can't compete. A really good modern day example is Ubel. Ubel is seeing a ton of success in the TCG because it is a deck that creates an incredibly powerful board and Appaloosa, DDD, Desiree, the Un chain trap the blue dog combined with like four hand traps in hand possibly with phantom of Ubel, which is just an overpowered card and it kind of goes unchecked right no single hand trap or even a combination of two sometimes can stop that deck from making a full board full of so many interruptions that basically they have a check for every card in your hand so you in the tcg is performing really really well and probably after some snake eye hits in the ban list, which I'm recording this video before because it hasn't dropped yet, we'll see Ubel rise up because it's just a newer deck. But on the OCG side, you would expect to see Ubel performing similarly well, but it's just not. The reason is that under Max C or even under Shifter, decks like Snake Eyes can put up a minimal board that already encompasses two interruptions and follow up for the next turn. So they can still manage to give their opponent a draw or two and put up the field spell with the Snake Eye Ash or Oak in the back row and an IP Mask Reina. So when their opponent starts playing, their board is rebuilt essentially. But Ubel is a heavy combo deck that couldn't really end on any interruptions if it's hit with Max C. You would have to give your opponent either tons of draws or just concede. So yeah, there's a big difference between metagames specifically because of Max C and decks that see success under Max C won't necessarily see it without Max C. So when talking about the best of one format in Japan and Master Duel, the format has to be more balanced, right? So if you have a best of three with siding here in the TCG, you have a way to, you know, lose game one, but then side in silver bullets or really good cards going second. It's a bit more of a balanced experience. While in best of one, you need to give the player going second and so many more tools to battle the combo decks that we have now that there's no choice but to leave Maxi legal. But maybe the OCG figured out that it might not be the healthiest thing and they just wanted to provide both the TCG with a new set of cards, the Malcharmies, that could mimic some of the effects of Maxi, but also take away the Maxi minigame in Master Rule and the OCG and give them the same Malcharmy pieces 
to decide on whether they want to play it or not. So that could still make best of ones competitive and balanced, but also on the TCG side, make going second a little bit better because it's just going downhill from here. Decks are becoming too strong that you can't really play into the boards and going second is essentially a death sentence. So they released the first Mulcharmy card, which was Mulcharmy Perulia, which is a level four aqua water monster that you need to discard it while you control no card. So it's exclusively for going second. And then you draw a card each time your opponent summons from the hand. That looked really good in the beginning. That was like, oh my God, this is awesome. You get a draw or two, you refresh your hand. You might get even three draws against decks like Snake Eye or Yubel, and that's pretty awesome. That card was expensive on pre-sale, and of course it was a secret rare. But then, Malcharmy Fuaris was printed in Rage of the Abyss. Now we knew there's going to be more Malcharmies because the effect says you can only activate one other Malcharmy card that turn. But nobody figured it was actually Maxi being broken down into multiple pieces. Now Fuaris came out and it basically eliminated the first Malcharmy Perulia straight out of the gate. You draw a card now every single time your opponent summons from the deck or extra deck. And when talking about the extra deck, right, the deck could be once or twice maybe in a duel, but the extra deck is the main tool that people use in order to play the game. People will summon 10, 15, 20 times from the extra deck in a combo. Now, it might be a good thing that Fuaris kind of eliminates that and makes people play a little bit more conservatively. But on the other hand, it means that it's almost as good as Max C. And that became immediately scary. And now there's sort of this purgatory in the OCG where both Maxi, Malcharmy Perulia and Malcharmy Fuaras are both legal at the same time. And we even saw this in the last EUWCQ where you can just activate two Malcharmy Perulias during the same turn and draw two cards for each summon. We also saw awesome memes from the Japanese guys making these hand trap war memes where you can just activate Maxi, Chain Perulia, chain fuaris and decks like ten by dragon actually can run all of them and it's getting really scary so yeah we've established what konami is possibly trying to do break down maxi into multiple pieces maybe adjust the formats master duel tcg and ocg bring them a little bit closer together and then eventually ban maxi so the next forbidden and limited list in the ocg is in october i'm not sure exactly which date but they have specific dates every single time and october is going to be the next release it's in a couple of months does it make sense for the ocg to have maxi perulia and fuaras legal all at the same time this is the case right now but i'm assuming that if konami is starting to break down the effects of maxi into different Mulcharmy cards that eventually maxi will have to get banned same thing about master duel if you play master duel would you want all of these cards to be legal at the same time on one hand it's kind of scary to think about but on the other hand it makes sense there's no way konami would print such cards and just leave maxi illegal and like the tcg eventually banned maxi and that has been the main difference between games for almost six or seven years maybe this is the time where konami bans it on the ocg side i'm not sure people were actually guessing that it will be forbidden on this list that came out a few months ago but it wasn't and we got a new Mulcharmy, and now it seems obvious that there probably is going to be more Mulcharmy cards in the future, maybe for Graveyard Summoning, and the Maxi is over. Maybe. Arguably the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history is about to get banned. If you enjoyed this discussion and video, let me know in the comments below, like the video, share this with a friend who's afraid of Maxi, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next one. Peace.